Hi, my name is Dan Wade, and today we're going to be doing some fun art. You know, here on this channel, we love to do different artistic kind of things, and I thought, what a better way to show that by breaking some glass. Let's get to it. Now, the first thing that you always want to do while breaking glass is make sure that you are wearing the proper safety equipment, and that's why I have brought these very high-tech safety glasses. And of course, the most important thing of all, you need your apples and you need your bananas. I mean, you can't break glass without apples or bananas. They, it's one and the same, you know? But second most important, you need your glass. So what I've done is I've prepared some very special glasses. Wow, I was out walking my dog yesterday. I found these empty beer bottles. So I was like, hey, let's just uh, break those. Meh, why not? Um, you know, they're, nobody's using them. They're very old. Meh. And the last thing that you're going to want is something to break the glass with. Now, you can really use any tool for this. Um, a hammer would be preferable, but if you can't find a hammer, a plumber's wrench will do just fine. So, I'm going to go set up the camera so that we have a cool, uh, we have cool video me breaking the glass. Right now we are going to break our first bottle which is right right there. You can see it. Alright. Wish me luck. Oh geez I don't want to do this. Okay this is a... hmm maybe more like now that didn't work either. This is a lot tougher than I thought. Okay, uh... Now, I'm gonna have to try something else. I had a great idea. What if we hit it with this axe? <sighs> okay. Okay, maybe the other side of the axe? Probably be standing up for this. There. All right. There we go. All right. Now with these glass shards, you want to be really careful to not touch them because they're very sharp. Don't do it. But I need to touch them to get them all centralized into one place, which is okay. That is okay. We'll work through it. And I'll see you in a second to do the other bottle. This bottle is interesting because as you can see, the top is still sealed, but it's completely empty. I don't quite know how that works, um, but it does. So we're going to break it. Uh, wish me luck. Got my trusty axe here again. I just gotta do the same thing as last time. Probably shouldn't be holding it. This one's a lot tougher than the last one. There we go. That one broke a lot more explosively than the other. Also, I think the colors are a lot better too. I just want to break that up into smaller pieces. There we go. Okay, cool. And then I will come back to you after I'm done assembling. Alright, now that we have gathered up all of our pieces of broken glass into this, this dustpan, what I'm going to do now is just quickly Rinse them off, so that way, all of the dirt from the garage floor gets off of it. So that way we just have clean glass. Now with this, you 
You want to be very careful that it doesn't spill off because that could lead to glass on the floor, which is not good. You don't want a glass on the floor because that's the place where it's most dangerous. And so most dust pans have a hole at the back and that's where you can drain most of it from, as you can see there. Got a nice water flow there, and no glass is coming out. All right, now a few pieces fell out earlier, but that's okay. We can just pick those up later. We just want to make sure that the big pieces don't fall off and just split up into even smaller pieces. And you want to be very careful about that, making sure that it's all you know, safe. Safety is our top priority. Safety is always the top priority. And that's why I'm not wearing my safety glasses anymore. Uh, probably should be wearing those. It's probably fine. Ah. So, here's our now mostly clean glass. And, you know, just want to dump out a bit more of the water. Yeah, see, that's what I was talking about. You don't want those big pieces to fall. But you also don't want to cut yourself, which would be bad, too. So, this is probably fine. Uh, Let's just get those last couple pieces, and then we will be ready for assembly. And this is where the apple and banana comes into play. Now, obviously, there is some room for creative liberty, but what I usually do is I take this apple, this time it's a Fuji apple, best kind of apple, don't dispute me on this. I like to take the top of one of the bottles, in this case I'll take the clear one, Oh, also, side note, when you're doing clear, when you're breaking clear bottles, make sure that you pay attention to where the shards go, because it is often that they are so clear that they blend in, and you don't want to be stepping on any clear pieces of glass. So what I like to do, is I like to just, um, push, gently push the top of the bottle into the apple. Now, you can see there, the piece broke off into the apple, and that is okay. That's actually kind of what we want. Oh, my shards. Hmm. But if you can get most of the bottle cap, the bottle top, into the top of the apple, Now some pieces aren't quite sharp enough for this, but that's okay. See, there we go. Perfect. Now you're on your way to becoming an alcoholic. So then you're just gonna take a couple more pieces. Here I have the piece with the tag on it, and I'm just gonna take this tag off. There we go. So that we just have the glass underneath. Then you can just stick it into any part that you like. The point here isn't really where it goes. The point here is what it symbolizes. In this case, the apple represents a heart, okay? And this is a heart that has been destroyed by alcoholism. And that is a good meaning. That's a good meaning. I just came up with that just now. Um, but I think it works. I think it makes sense. The Maddox, uh, yeah, uh, don't know what the banana is going to be. I don't think we need to worry about that. It's just, it's a banana. It's a banana with glass in it. Ooh. Just some kids. We're going to take a bottle for the 
piece of glass from a Coors Light bottle. And at this point, you can really just start shoving it in anywhere. Like I said, the message is the most important part. That didn't break. Didn't break. Everything's fine. Okay? Now, keep in mind, you would not want to eat this apple. I repeat, do not eat the apple with the broken glass in it. That is a bad idea. Do not eat anything if it has broken glass in it. Unless you eat broken glass. If that's how you get your nutrition, eat as much broken glass as you want. I'm not saying that you can't eat broken glass. I'm saying that you shouldn't eat broken. You know what? Just as a general rule, don't eat broken glass. And that is your moral for today. Now, you can see this backside is getting a bit... Uh, it's getting a bit bare. And that is because... Ow, Jesus. That's why you got to be careful with broken glass. On the front, it's very packed. Yeah? But if you keep the apple, if you make it a place where you can hold it, it will become a lot safer. Because as we all know, broken glass is very sharp, as I just demonstrated for you there. But I'm taking this risk for you for the sake of art. Art. This is art. This is art. If somebody can tape my name to a wall and say that's art, I can say that this apple filled with broken glass is art. Okay? It's art. Uh, I'm trying to find a good piece. Now, this is a good piece. You want to look for pieces that have unique shapes, and luckily, when, gra when glass breaks, all the pieces, none of the pieces will look the same. Hypothetically, if you were to gather up all of the pieces of glass in the world, you would not be able to make a bottle. Because not all of them would fit together, other than the ones that are from the same bottle. And I guess, hypothetically, it could break in the exact same way. But that's very unlikely. It's not going to happen. Just don't... Don't do that, okay? It's not gonna work. Uh, you know what? I think I need more brown pieces. I'm gonna stick. This, you know what? This is gonna be the final piece. That is hitting another piece of glass in the apple. That is horrifying. This might be the worst thing I've ever made. This is truly, this is disturbing. Um. As you can see there, it is not, it's not good. Um, but you know what? We'll improve it in post. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll improve this in post. We'll, we'll improve this. this. This will be better. Um, jump cut to the final product. I think we can all agree that that was amazing. I, you know, I'm just a visionary. You know, I'm just, I am Pablo Picasso of 2020, okay? I am the Picasso of the modern era. And you can quote me on that. Um, but that is always, guys, this has been really fun. Um, break glass, uh, do it in a safe manner very safe. Be very safe. Wear your glasses. Um, do what I didn't do. Wear gloves. Um, but that was really fun. You know, it's just, it relieves so much stress. It's like, yeah. Um, but as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.